which shoe do you have in your rotation and why? That's the most frequent question I got in the last months. So, let's find out. How's it going guys? I hope peace and love for everybody. No war, please. I'm Sergio, this is Koryamune, a community for who loves uh, running. We are always talking about uh, different running gears, uh, uh, trainings, uh, time trials and races. In this video I will go through uh, all my shoes I'm using currently in my rotation and the reason why according to the different uh, trainings or races. I got this question several times, so I thought this could be an interesting topic for uh, our community. But before to start, if you like this content, please don't forget to contribute, leaving a like, a comment, and if you are not yet subscribed, uh, it won't cost anything to you, but uh, it will be very important for me and for the community. As usual, an important remark, all these shoes I bought with my money, and no one is paying me for this review. I have six shoes in my rotation, we will see all of them uh, according to the different types of trainings and races in four different chapters. First chapter will be for slow running, uh, second one for medium, uh, fast speed workouts, third one time trial and races, and finally the conclusions. Let's start now with the slow running. Uh, for the slow running I prefer uh, to use two uh, different shoes in my rotation, the SL20 uh, version 2 and uh, the Evo Ride uh, 2. In terms of uh, uh, weight, uh, cushioning, and uh, uh, despite the lower saccade of the SL20 version 2, I like both. Uh, uh, I never felt uncomfortable, and uh, it is not too much uh, ground feel for uh, for both. They have actually a big difference, uh, which is the drop: 9.5 millimeter in the SL20 version 2, and only 5 millimeter uh, in the Everite 2. So a big change. Uh, pay attention uh, if you have problem with your uh, calves, because the Everite 2 uh, could be not ideal for you. The Evo Rail is more versatile in my opinion than the SL20 version 2 uh, because uh, the rocker in the forefoot I believe is also good for uh, long trainings uh, uh, close to the medium pace. For slow run uh, not so long then I prefer to use the SL20. Both shoes are not so expensive so perfect for uh, such long trainings. And by the way the household of both is still in good condition even if uh, the midsole of the SL20 is uh, a little bit floppy after uh, 500 kilometers. For medium fast workouts, instead I love to wear the Adio 6, uh, uh, it's, I believe, perfect for this kind of trainings. Uh, uh, at the beginning I didn't like it uh, um, because um, I was used to uh, run uh, with the previous version, uh, but I have to say that it's a perfect shoe for me uh, for average pace and uh, for fart leg as well. Recently I ran uh, 15 uh, kilometers uh, training at uh, a pace of 4 minutes per kilometer without any issue um, to the calves and uh, with a great comfort. Uh, uh, the drop is higher than uh, the Evo Ride 2, uh, the stack and the weight uh, uh, are similar and for 15 uh, kilometer medium pace training uh, both are okay in my opinion even if I prefer the Adios 6 uh, because I feel it a little bit more uh, minimal and responsive maybe due to the uh, big torsion systems as you can see here. But for speed workouts in the track and field I prefer the RC3 that is kind of uh, uh, lower stockade, uh, more ground feel, uh, so perfect for the track, which is already bouncy uh, itself and uh, it is also pretty light, uh, only 209 uh, grams, 7.4 ounces. The RC3 it's not uh, well known, uh, but actually it is the Adios 5 uh, without the boost foam in the heel, uh, so even lighter and it is pretty cheap and durable. I run even short part like with the RC3, but I prefer the Adios 6 in any case, except in the track uh, or in the treadmill. 
which is also bouncy and uh, therefore I don't need the extra cushioning uh, provided by the audio seats. Therefore look into the distance in Strava, for this reason I run more kilometers with the audio 6, uh, which is still in perfect condition after uh, 300 kilometers. Let's go ahead talking about uh, the time trials and the races now. For 5 kilometers definitely I uh, prefer the HC3 uh, because really responsive with a great uh, ground feel and uh, super light, uh, perfect for such short uh, races. Uh, it's durable and cheap uh, so I can use it even for uh, time trials. For a 10k race I prefer the Takumi Sen8, uh, uh, one of the last shoes released by uh, Adidas, uh, a great shoes which uh, I highly suggest uh, uh, despite the price uh, around 200 euro. It is light with a, a great uh, midsole and uh, with the energy roads uh, uh, with a great feeling. So for this reason I wouldn't suggest to use it for uh, time trials. Uh, it's expensive but the outsole is so thin that uh, uh, it won't last uh, uh, longer than a few races uh, in my opinion. Then for a 10k time trial I would still use the Audio 6 because more durable. Uh, for an half marathon instead or a marathon I prefer to use the Audios Pro 2. This shoe that as you can see has a new stockade, steel energy rods but in carbon in this case a steel a thinner outsole rubber. So perfect shoes because uh, offer uh, good cushioning and uh, thanks to the energy rod in carbon uh, is even more responsive supporting the rolling motion at slower pace than uh, 4 minutes 50 seconds per kilometer. Uh, I would not suggest it uh, um, because um, quite stable due to the huge stockade and cutouts in the outsole for reducing the weight and for uh, the flexibility. I used the Adios Pro 2 for two uh, time trials uh, but I would not suggest it for um, the time trials but only for uh, the race day since it is uh, really expensive and uh, the outsole uh, is not that uh, durable. So for an half marathon time trial I would use uh, either the Adios 6 or the uh, Evo Ride 2. So just a quick recap before the conclusion, uh, the HSL20 and the EVO RIDE uh, for short and long uh, slow runs, the EVO RIDE ADIO 6 or RC3 for medium fast paced workouts, the ADIO 6 for 10k or half marathon time trials, uh, and the Takumi Sen8 and the ADIO SPRO2 for racing, 10k and half marathon marathon. This is my rotation in a nutshell. For all the shoes you can find the review in the channel and the links in the description below. Um, just a remark from my side, it's really important uh, that you use uh, different shoes uh, and not uh, the same shoe uh, every day uh, because the foam gets thinner after running uh, and that's why it is suggested to wear different shoes even for uh, the same kind of trainings. I hope guys this was an interesting video for you and uh, question of the day what about your shoes in your rotation? I just ordered new shoes, as soon as I will get it I will uh, give you my first impressions. So if you don't want to miss any video I suggest to subscribe and activate the notification bell so you will get notified every time I have something new to say about any issue. If you want to join us in Strava you can find the link of Corriamone Club in the description below. So guys, this is it for today. If you like this content, please don't forget to leave a like uh, to uh, trigger the uh, YouTube algorithm. And as usual, thanks for watching. Uh, keep running. Uh, peace and love for uh, everybody. Until the next time. This train. See you. He is in this lane. There's no. no stop in this frame. Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play. How I like rearranged it to my own domain. Yeah, yeah I got what it takes. Made lots of mistakes. Taking shots, skipping breaks. Feeling lost, feeling great. Popping off, singing straight. Never Never stop, never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no, I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say